I, I understand that Eleanor violated our trust, but please, when you're talking to Michael, try to think about what she's had to go through. All right. I will. For you. But we've been through a lot as well. You know, I haven't been this upset since my good friend Taylor was rudely upstaged by my other friend Kanye, who was defending my best friend, Beyonce. Chidi, don't you see? This is the real mistake that was made in our neighborhood. You and I are soulmates. It makes so much sense. Oh, but... No, Chidi, true love is rare. Like a desert flower betwixt two oases. But true love is also very simple. And right now, I'm just a girl. Towering over a boy. Asking him to admit he loves me. Now, you spent a lot of time with Eleanor. Why do you think that is? People are just drawn to me. You know, one of my shyest friends, I, I won't say his name to preserve his privacy, but he found my presence so comforting that he asked me to co-host his TV show, Anderson Cooper 360. But I also dabbled in some other professions. I, I was a model, a museum curator, an it girl, and... Oh, I was Baz Luhrmann's muse for a while. That was quite fun. Modeling? That's a crazy life. Want to tell me about that rock bottom you probably hit? Well, I didn't really do it for long. Couture just doesn't fit my body. I'm cursed with ample bosom. And yet you soldier on. This is insane and obviously against the rules. Yeah, too bad it's not Dillhole. She'll remember them. It's going to destroy the integrity of the experiment, Your Honor. Plus, now I have to live next to a man who once lied and said I wasn't at Diddy's white party. I was there, Eleanor, I was. You must believe me. What's one thing people don't know about you? That I was such a tomboy in high school. See? Wow, looking good. Okay, next question. Who would you say is the most famous person in your phone? It's not about who you know. Enlightenment comes from within. The Dalai Lama texted me that. Janet, when I turned 18, I knelt in front of Princess Grace's dress mausoleum and I swore to uphold the hostess code. I, Tahani Al Jamil, shall do my level best to make every event too much. Poor Larry. But if you love someone, set them free. A good friend and yoga pupil Sting, no last initial, told me that. Look, I, I appreciate you trying to cheer me up. I really do, but you don't understand. Th this was the very first neighborhood that I got to design. It was my chance to prove myself, and now I've blown it. You know, sometimes a flaw can make something even more beautiful. Like with Cindy Crawford and how short she is. You all right, my dear? Yes. Just not used to dressing like a plumeress. Is that what you call a female plumber, or is it a, a toilet sweep, or, or clog wench? In any case, <laughs> that's how I'm dressed. You have a fine home, Deirdre. I absolutely adore your shares. I don't know bugger all about a chaise. I've been using this as a bloody toilet, I am. What's this show called again? <laughs> it's Deirdre and Margaret. It ran for 16 years on the BBC. They did nearly 30 episodes. Eleanor, everyone hates you. Well, fork you too. No, this is good. Now that we know, we can actually do something about it. And I am an expert at mediating conflict. Like when my friend Scary Sporty Posh and Baby had an issue with my other friend, Archbishop Desmond Tutu. Michael, there's been a mistake. I belong in the good place, the, the real one with the good people. Who do I speak to about correcting this? Me, and you're wrong. Very well. I would like to speak to your manager. Eleanor, Michael, it is I, Tahani. Yeah, we know, babe. What's wrong? I know John. Rather, he knows me. He's a gossip columnist who tortured me on Earth. He made it seem like I was shallow, plagued with jealousy, and prone to fits of melodrama. Okay. Come on, Diana, let's hit the bar. I'm gonna get me a tall glass of pipe and hot corn syrup and a scooter so I can roll around the mall. That's really good. Oh, thank you. So you saw your parents in the test? Yes. And I immediately fell right back into my old pattern, desperately trying to impress them and earn their admiration. Then I heard this little voice in my head saying, Tahani, don't do this. The little voice in your head sounds like the old lady from Downton Abbey. Oh, yes, sorry. Maggie Smith is my godmother. And well, I suppose a little entrepreneurial spirit never hurt anyone. You know, reach for the stars, as I said to my good friend Elon Musk. And then he shot his car in space. 
What a weird creep. Why was I friends with him? I would say I outdid myself, but I'm always this good. So I simply did myself. <laughs> <laughs>